Today on Rift Spirits and Gear, I build a starter kit using nothing but stuff from Monoprice. So a little while back, I did the cheapest tube amp from monoprice.com and the nice folks at Monoprice saw that video and they reached out and they said, hey, if you wanna build some kind of a starter pack or starter kit, we would like to support you doing so. Let us sponsor a video where you pick a couple of things and you put together your own little kit. So that's exactly what I did. I picked three things that I thought would make a good beginner kit, not necessarily a starter entry level, the cheapest kit, but stuff that I thought was really good bang for your buck and offered a lot of versatility for not a lot of money. And that's that's what I did. I picked the three things and we should we should probably unbox them. So let's talk about the three things that I got to make up my starter pack from monoprice.com. First and most obvious, I got a guitar. Now this is called the Boardwalk. Um, it's Indio by Monoprice. I got this for a few reasons. One, it really reminded me of Devin Townsend, right? Like the color and the shape. Um, this is a flame top maple with the black dark burst charcoal burst i believe they called it officially um, this guitar can do rock stuff it can do lighter softer stuff indie stuff etc etc i got this semi-hollow guitar because it's versatile and it's something a little left of center and i thought it was just i thought the aesthetic was just super super cool this retails for 250 bucks off of monoprice.com which is a huge, huge steal. This thing has a really good weight to it too. This is not feather light. Next up, let's talk about the amplifier. This is kind of the bigger brother to the cheapest guitar amp on Monoprice that I previously made a video of. This has the 112 speaker in it as opposed to, I believe the other one had an eight inch speaker or something like that. This uh, is a 15 watt all tube combo amp and it has a Celestion 7080 speaker in it with spring reverb and it's 250 bucks as well. Um, this is one of Monoprice's best sellers and comes highly rated and, and I chose it based on the customer reviews on Monoprice as opposed to something even larger or smaller. Um, also for 250 bucks for an all tube combo, that's pretty damn good. And last, but certainly not least, because I think they look like a lot of fun and I'm a huge fan of being wireless, are some uh, stage right wireless units and they're about i think they're 60 bucks 59 bucks something like that and these are usb rechargeable um they have a little antenna that you can put on to ex extend the range inexpensive and again they had really good customer ratings so i went ahead and chose these so i have a guitar i have an amp and i'm wireless while doing it so the next thing to do we're gonna hook all this up and I need to find a microphone somewhere so you can hear this guy. One moment. 10 minutes later. All right, so I have everything set up and unpacked and cleaned up and tuned up. I have the boardwalk tuned up. Uh, I am using the uh, wireless units, the monoprice wireless units, straight into the 112 combo. And I am mic'd up with the Jay-Z Microphones Vintage 11 condenser mic and what you were hearing is the unprocessed sound going straight into my universal audio Apollo 8 interface. I'm just going to uh, play some things and uh, twist some knobs and see how it sounds.
Dang. All right. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. All right. So overall thoughts, having unboxed everything and hooked everything up, I'm, I'm very pleased with my, my picks. Honestly, I didn't know really what to expect. I mean, honestly, a $250 guitar, a $250 amp and a $60 uh, set of wireless uh, guitar wireless systems, right? I'm, I'm shocked with the amp, honestly, above all else, I can't believe how good this thing sounds and how much better it sounds with a actual 12 inch speaker and a Celestion at that. Um, has that to be goodness, has good attack, the reverb's great. Honestly, it's, it's really legit. The guitar, the guitar feels good. Um, it's a C-shaped neck. It's very, very comfortable. I will also note that with a lot of these more inexpensive guitars, they come with really, really terrible quality strings. These came with Diadarios and they, they feel great and they sound great and they stay in tune and the fretwork is good. I didn't have to set this up off camera or anything like that. All I did was tune this up and that's it. The neck was straight, everything, everything is as it should be, especially for 250 bucks. So total this rig together was about $600 if you were to go and buy it on monoprice.com, which I will link to down below and who I would also like to shout out for sponsoring this video. This was a lot of fun. Um, they basically let me uh, let me do whatever I wanted as far as uh, pick the things out that I wanted to pick. And uh, yeah, super, super cool of them to let me do that. Thank you so much, Monoprice. And uh, yeah, if you have anything else that you would like me to go and try off of Monoprice, let me know. We could uh, do a total revisit as well in the future. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Wow, another video gone by. Hope it was pretty good. I mean, it's probably pretty good. But if it wasn't, <laughs> awkward, right?